This is gonna be my biggest problem on a rally. I'm gonna pee all the time. If I'm drinking, I'm just like uh I'm just like a heater, damn it. So I made it. That's a check team over there. That's a tenor, that's a tent. And uh, I have done registration and scrutineering. And what happens during registration is really not much. You just say who you are. Um, that's basically it. And you'll get a beer. That's the important thing. And scrutineering is you have to check everything on the bike and all that. So, um, and that here is really simple process as well because there's not much of the restrictions or anything like that. So is the license plate the same? Is your uh, driving license valid and all that kind of stuff? Do you have insurance, all that? That's all what you need to do for uh, scrutinizing. And one important thing is that you will get the tracking device and um, that's after the scrutinizing is done and you are allowed to race and uh, you get the stickers with your number when you register the first time. I'm just gonna get drop the Moscow plates and I'm gonna drop the uh, toolbox and that's basically all what I need to do. Clean the chain, loop the chain and she's happy to go. The guys from Czech Republic are doing their stuff. We will just bring him beer and leave him here for another four hours. Good morning, first day of Dinaric, and uh, it's about 15 minutes to the start. Uh, everybody's getting pretty much ready. The guys from the hotels are coming, and uh, the Malemoto class is waking up slowly and surely. Um, so yeah, the first day. Um, I really don't know what to expect, but let's see how it goes. There's obviously no speed limit for the dirt. First special stage was absolutely crazy. It was my first special stage ever and everyone races, especially the freaking quads. They are really difficult to tackle because they are, they're wide and they're surprisingly agile and fast. I mean, and we were on this really rocky wide terrain, the, the stones fly everywhere, the small bikes fly by you like nuts, and then you get stuck in some of the deep gravel corners, as everybody struggled with those except the quads, so that was pretty, pretty darn difficult. One of the worst things on a Tenere riding on the Narek is this shit. So let's do it. No traction. I need momentum. Come on. Stop here. Oh, this is fucking nightmare. Whoa. Oh. oh, this is really nice job, man. Yeah, it looks, it looks nice. <laughs> Do you want me to carry it or not? I have a space in the back. I'm just, I'm, pick, I'm, I'm riding on this one. Oh, okay. you're riding on that? That's a seat. You have a seat. Why you have extra seat? As a tank stop, everybody is getting fuel. The first special felt really good. I thought I have really good time. I felt like a really, really, really good pace until this happened when I hit the bump at speed and um, it knocked off the DJI from my chin mount. Um, it was really unfortunate because that was not the crash and that cost me the position on the special at that time. I did manage to catch up with the boys um, who overtook me, but unfortunately I have been chasing this guy for a while there, um, didn't find the time to overtake the good moment for it, uh, which meant that it boils down to making mistakes and unfortunately I was the one who made the mistake and I dropped the bike like that and it was uphill to picking it up and it just took some time so it was really difficult to catch up with them later on. And this is still special by the way. So we finished the special stage one and Indra is already doing his mechanical skills his handlebars are loose second special 
So the second special wasn't luckiest either. This time it was not the DJI which fell off. But unfortunately it was the Krieger mounting system for my bag which failed. And that was really, really frustrating um, yeah, because I, I really didn't need that one. Uh, Lukas was chasing me and he was, he overtook me and the race was on from then on. But unfortunately, yeah, when you're racing, you make mistakes. And this was again, the Krieger bag and the camera. And it was just so frustrating. It was also a really difficult spot to pick the pee up because it was uphill. And then I had to roll it downhill to start again the hill climb. I mean, I was so frustrated at this point. So frustrated. I must uh, change my brake lever because I have a big crash. A big crash, bike's fine. Just the uh, brake lever. A little bit. And that's it. Yeah, a little bit bent, but that's okay. And Peter lost his uh, waterproofs and they are in my bag. <laughs> Everything according to the plan. The days were quite long and the terrain wasn't the easiest for the big bikes. So when we found the tarmac on liaisons, we were really happy for it. <laughs> and in the evenings, yes, there was a parties and dinners, but most of us were fixing the bikes, especially the ones who crashed. Um, there was a lot of work to do because well, you have to start in the morning. I did some modifications to my brake lever, and then in the morning you get up, have a breakfast, and head on. Look, she's ready to race. The most common terrain on the Dinaric was rocks. Big rocks, loose rocks, small rocks, deep gravel, everything. This is a special stage on the second day, and it was brutal. It was going steep uphills on this, it was steep downhills, and it was not giving any chance for mistakes or anything like that. It was surprisingly challenging on a T7. One of the really common navigation mistakes is to follow someone blindly like I do here. Instead of going my own way, I'm just following the guy in front, which most of the time gets you stuck and you can practice your pivot turns, either using the side stand or being more fancy. This would be a common scene after every special stage, uh, bikes being fixed, um, everybody was helping each other. It was really good spirit. Um, the bikes get beaten up um, pretty much all the time and quite hard, so count on that one. <laughs> Good morning, end of the rally yesterday, the party, it went on for quite a while. Uh, I was sleeping because I was so knackered. So this is the Overland class, which is a little bit more than Malemoto because during the Malemoto you kind of do everything yourself and fix everything. Overland class uh, means that you uh, end up alone in a bivouac after the rally because everybody just buggers off home. No, I didn't drop it. But look at that, that's where we race. This is insane. This is super cool. So this is Dinaric Rally. <laughs> 